Hello, welcome to my new video here. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a Tesla coil setup with a ZBS driver here. So I'll take these off. Uh, I don't know if this is still charged from earlier. Okay, no. Okay, so I'll show you the ZBS driver first and flyback transformer. So this is just plug in, then there so we unplug that then we short these out short out the capacitors then there so we hook a piece up to here and then we hook part up to there and then we plug it in again So there, I've discharged the spark gap so you can touch now. You can see down here how it's kind of arcing around a little bit and causing some indentations on the piece there. So now what we're gonna do is take a piece of wire like this here. And some wire cutters. And we're just gonna Take a piece here and snip it off. So there. I'll put the rest down there. And now we'll strip it. can be hard to strip sometimes. <clears throat> there we go. So we strip that piece off. Then we hook up to here. And we plug our Tesla coil back in, or half of it, I guess. So you can see that you can interrupt the spark gap. Unplug that and short out the spark gap. The flyback has some tiny arcs down here. Not sure if you can see that, but there's some little arcs down there, which is fine for now. It'll just do its thing. So, the next thing we need is our secondary coil. So my secondary coil luckily fits into these tubes on the side here. So I can pop out this little push peg part here. 
scoot this over and pop that in place bring this wire around here and then we can hit the spark gap and just see if we get any arcs coming off of it so we'll plug our spark gap in here There's no power here for some reason. There we go. So now we'll turn our Tesla coil around here. Sorry, I just kicked the tripod there. Huh. We'll turn our Tesla coil around here. And what we'll do here is we'll take this part off, take some of this off, take some of this off, and then connect this wire to the spark gap, then wrap it around the Tesla coil part here, and then back up to here, and then set that wire there. So now we have our completed circuit to test. Flyback is smoking. I don't think that's a very good thing there. So, yeah, I don't know why we're smoking down there, but I think something's being shorted out. But that's okay for now, because we'll just, we'll try with a different turns ratio here now. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect this. Instead of having one turn, I'll do two turns here. Now I'll hook it back up. So now we'll put that down there and we'll give this test number two and see if we can get any bigger arcs to come off of this. So you can see over on the Tesla coil here, I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that, but there's some arcing happening. Because our, whoo, gotta discharge that first. <laughs> Okay, so there. Now we're going to try with two turns and see what kind of output we get. some arcing down there. I'm not sure why that's happening, but we'll fix that later on. So first we'll discharge the capacitors, switch out the spark, uh, the, sorry, turn uh, here. And instead of doing two turns, I'm gonna take 
a whole bunch more wire. And we're going to wrap it, let's say, three times now. So instead of just having two or one, we have three wraps of our primary coil here. So now we can see what kind of arcs we can actually get out of this little beast here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this down into the table here a little bit. Then bend that around there so that we have flat. So now we're going to go again. Oh wow, you can really keep the mug coming off now. Okay, so we're going up. The we're going up with the turns ratio, and our arc length coming off here is going up too. So I guess instead of three turns, we'll have to do four turns. So I'm just gonna basically add another wrap down here, and then just kind of. Set that down here and kind of try to stop this. This guy really wants to kind of come up here, so. Okay, it's sitting there for now. Okay, so here we go again. Okay, so now we're losing power, so definitely the way to go is to take another turn off here. So I'm going to take another turn off so that we're back down to three turns here. So now if I hook the capacitor bank back up to our Tesla coil here. And we have three turns again on the primary like before. What we'll do is I'll plug this back in. And there. So you can see all the energy we're getting off here. All of like the corona discharge and everything, all that fancy stuff. So now let's deal with the part that I was talking about earlier here. Our flyback transformer. This little fella's smoking a lot down here. And it's between this pin, the tiny pin here, and between the high voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically, uh, I don't know what to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire here and my screwdriver, wherever he's gone. Not sure. Oh, I said I'm moving here. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of push more glue into that crack down there there so now i'm gonna grab a fluorescent light and i'll see what the tesla coil looks like with the fluorescent light so i'll grab an led bulb first here i have one sitting over here So now I have 
my fluorescent bulb and well not fluorescent LED <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put that there and turn the Tesla coil back on and see what we get for wireless power So, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next Tesla Coil High Voltage or DIY project. Remember, when you're doing these projects, be safe and make sure to wear safety goggles. Uh, hearing protectors because the spark gap is loud the beer bottle capacitors can explode this thing could catch fire like mine's about to don't touch the output of the tesla coil and i'll see you in the next video have a good day